Hello and welcome back to Against the Storm. In our last episode, we finished up our town here, Beverton. Almost like Beaverton, but Beverton. In the Curse of the Royal Woodlands. And we have a First Dawn Company caravan we can meet up with. We're unclear as to whether this will make us embark here or not. But we will find that out shortly. We also have a, um, a Royal Resupply. And there was a bit of a mixed opinion on this. On one hand, taking the obsidian box means five additional seal fragments, which will turn into more of these. However, if I remember correctly, it's only a few of the artifacts and the machinery and mostly um, food stockpiles that the extra seal fragments turn into. The alternative is, of course, the supply package, which would give us uh, additional four reserve embarkation points. But I had a thought about that, and I'm just going to test this thought just for a moment here. We already have four of them. Uh, if, if when we embark out to where this seal is, which is in this area, we'll have ten to spend to start with. How many of these points would we legitimately spend? Uh, even if this is two, let's say that's two, uh, one, two, three, four, maybe maybe five to six points on food, uh, a few more points here. Do we really need 14 embarkation points? Only if we take the Herbalist Camp or any other similar types of buildings, if we unlock any in the upgrades tree before we embark. So the embarkation points aren't necessarily going to be that beneficial because we already have enough to pretty much buy everything we can uh, for the seal. So maybe we should double check to see if there's anything we can actually afford here. Um, which I think there were two things we could actually do. One of them is additional newcomer gifts here, uh, plus the base stat of that, which is going to spend a lot of these food stockpiles, but that's fine. Another one of them is the embarkation bonus of the small farm. Which would be good, because taking a farm, just like taking a herbalist camp, is a good bonus to have. Um, but we could also take this, which is a training expedition. Nah. Where? Wait a minute. We, I remember we lost the... Um, we lost something. We lost the... Wait. Oh yeah, there it is. Okay. The field kitchen I thought was in a different spot, but no, it wasn't. We lost the uh, workers at the, um, the the warehouse workers, the haulers. But I don't remember where that is to get it back. Oh, there it is. Way up there now. Oh, wow. Yeah, they really bumped that up. Huh. Okay. Um, so I think, given what we have available to us that we should probably just maybe take this one newcomer goods uh wait we can't unlock that oh we have to unlock no oh it's it's level 13 we can't get there yet never mind i so i don't think i want to well i could take the the phone the small farm so if i take the small farm then that means i would spend five points or so on that on this embark or on the embark for this that is um and if we did that then we were looking at, you know, probably being able to use 14 points if we took a building. So maybe that's worth it if we honestly think that we need that much stuff. Which I don't know that we do. It's a really, really tough choice for me, uh, as you can probably tell. Um, uh, nevertheless... Uh, if we look at this thing here, I want to actually make the choice here. So we could recruit caravan members, which means that our starting caravan will two more village villagers for the duration of the cycle, but we'll lose 20 coal in our embarkation set. Given what we have here of plus 30 Seamaro and minus one villager, this is actually a net positive in terms of fuel and villagers. Um, if we did this one, we would gain the uh, grain and the food provisions, which is two bonuses um but paying the the 35 food stockpiles actually that's not a bad idea either but is is it worth the other the extra people the extra starting people well i usually devote them to gathering wood to begin with if i had that many people or gathering trees i should say because i would set up probably a third uh tree harvester at that point, uh, wood, woodcutter's camp. 
but two people over the course of a town can easily get uh, gain 30 grain and the stuff we need for 15 packs of provisions. Um, they can also easily gain the 20 coal on top of that. The food stockpiles, while our the metagame and that we really need to work on, food stockpiles aren't our problem right now, although they will start becoming our problem as we get deeper into the tree because the rate at which you require more food stockpiles goes up a lot faster and a lot higher than the rate at which you require the other materials. Uh, like up here you can see how much we actually will need for each one of these upgrades. Um, and so food stockpiles are like, what is that? Four point, I guess that's 4.5 times, four times here. Um, a little less, or a little more, back to 4.5 or so here, uh, up to, well, three and a half there. Yeah, so it varies a little bit, but it's still like the, the amount of food stockpiles you need eventually will out spend the amount of machinery and artifacts you need from what you can reasonably gain. So I think I should buy this small farm because we maybe will use it. And I think I should take one of those buildings with us for the um, for the for the seal just so that we a remove that building from the blueprint pool and B, remove that build, uh, and have that building to start with, uh, regardless of what we want to do out there. So let's take the supply package. I'm, I'm going back and forth on it in my head, uh, but I think that's the best thing to do. And I think here, the two people possibly outweighs the extra food stockpiles here by quite a bit. So let's go with the two people, and that will count for both of our two finishing towns here. And that does indeed clear. But I think I want to go to that spot anyway here in the coral forest just so that we can uh, do a variety of different um, uh, biomes. Plus, if I come out here, then I'm in the veteran, which means that we only start with six versus here where we can start with seven. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. So we're going to, let's see, let's go seven, nine, or eight. Nine plus two. <laughs> Holy crap. Uh, we could do that one. That's, that's 11 people. Uh, that's... A lot more than the other two caravans. Uh, this is two food, two raw food, and a leather. This is two cooked food and a raw food, and this is a raw food, a leather, and a plant fiber. Uh, we're gonna get plenty. Well, not maybe not plenty of plant fiber, but some plant fiber. The leather we won't get unless we get a um, a uh, uh, what you call it uh, a ranch. But uh, even so. With the plant fiber and the reeds we're gonna have here, we should be okay on the uh, on the on the fabric front. Uh, so I think we're good with this group. And then we're gonna take three more people because I'm greedy, and that puts me at 14. Uh, and then we can do a bunch of bunch of food and stuff. Let's take the wood. Let's take the stone. Yeah, let's take the stone, and then we'll take not this food but this one. This one and that one. I want that for any reason? Nah. Because uh, I never spend the reroll charges anyways. Even though I should take, potentially spend the free one every time. Uh, so that that spends all my seven points. Three, four, five, six, seven. I want to make sure. And leaves us with the eight that we can use for the, uh, for the seal. So let's do this. Let's do it. So we have our metric crap ton of beavers. So we'll be chopping lots of trees here and other things. And we got uh, two harpies and a fox in addition to 11 beavers. Uh, we have a beaver in the hearth. So I'm probably going to change that out to be a, a harpy in the hearth. Uh, we know these, of course. We have salty breeze. The salty air makes it easier to preserve food. Food production speed is increased by 80% during drizzle season. Wow. That's a good one. Uh, Louis Darkness, we know. At hostility to rotting wood causes the woodcutters to fell trees 50% faster, but have 100% chance of destroying their yields during the storm. So, woodcutting during the storm is kind of pointless. We also have Blight Rot Infection. Um, when a villager leaves or dies, two Blight Rot cysts will appear in the settlement. Hopefully, we never have that problem, so we never get those cysts, but even so, not that bad. 
Rotten rain. The rain carries a strange rotten pollen with it. Bloodflower will spawn somewhere in the settlement every 90 seconds. So that's one per storm at our current difficulty level. And uh, uh, strange lights. Villagers with this effect have a 20% chance, increased chance of destroying the yield with each production cycle, prevented with services. Not so bad. This is actually a really good set. I'm surprised. <laughs> I mean, the, the most bummer of them all is rotten, rotting wood, but eh, we just don't need to, we just don't need to chop any trees during the storm. That's fine. We're going to have enough people that we can operate three woodcutters during the, uh, during the other two seasons. So taking a break during the storm to do other things is fine. Uh, let's take a look here. Uh, I don't like this layout. I wish they would just take this one out. I don't like this layout at all. Uh, all right. Uh, let's, um, yeah, let's do the uh, woodcutters. You can go here, there, and there. And then we can do the paths. Unpause, do the paths. I need to swap that uh, hearth worker, I think. Although, I mean, having the beaver in there is not a bad deal, but I think the, the, the harpy is a better option right now because we get the extra carry from them. But we'll put houses in these corners someplace. Uh, let's see. What do we want to go first, then? Maybe clear those trees out. We could open up some of those small glades there. Also, uh, let's do one of you here times a whole bunch of. And one of you here times a whole bunch of. And then let's have them do some of this. And let's have them do... Let's see. There we are. Some of this. Actually, go ahead and dig right in there. I had the control selected, but I turned it off. And let's finish that one up. I disrupted them. There we go. Uh, move here, and a whole bunch of them as well. All right. Speed it up, and let's also put in the uh, crude workstation. And the makeshift post. Chop, chop. First building choice. Farm could be nice. Uh, foragers camp. Vegetables only. Don't need the foresters hut here because crystallized dew we're going to get from the trees and we'll have plenty. Although the resin could be nice, but uh, we can probably get away without it because we're going to have things like herbs, which uh, often overlap with the resin. I think the herb garden would be better here. I think so. It would mostly be, though, a... Possibly mostly be a root growing place, but that's okay. Uh, we can grow roots. We could do the ranch to get eggs and leather, but I think given the amount of meat we have, we don't really need the eggs. And I think we'll be fine without the leather. Although, as we've pointed out in previous towns, taking the leather means that we can extend the uh, viability of the other fabric making stuff because we can turn either of those into twice the amount of leather here at the ranch but that's okay we'll do this uh we'll do this right now or wait right now but i think i'm going to do the herb garden because a farm is good at this point i think first cornerstone choice cannibalism i think probably not bonus herb production could be good or gaining packs of provisions for every 10 herbs produced so the question here is uh, packs of provisions have use herbs. Six herbs for every three packs, so that's two to one. Two herbs make a pack. Um, if I did, if I only turned the herbs into provisions, nothing else, then for every ten herbs produced, and I think the whole, uh, farm at four per plot, uh, that means that every plot and a half would give me three packs of provisions. So every, um, well, every two picks would give me almost two packs of provisions. Almost. Uh, it's eight herbs to make two packs, and this would be um, four herbs to make two packs. So that's about twice as much. Uh, or twice as good. This would give me six herbs per pick, which means that I can turn that into three packs of provisions. Hmm. 
But also on this one, I get to keep all those herbs. Six herbs would give me three packs, so that, that's, that bonus two. Three Every three fields would give me enough to make three packs. Those three bonus fields, though, or three fields at regular rate would give me 12 herbs, which would give me two packs. The bonus is better. And that's only if I use it for packs of provisions and nothing else, which I'm not likely to do. Although I probably should have waited for the uh, first order to come in. Oops, sorry, I muted myself, and then I didn't unmute properly. Um, produce pipes in a pipe-capable or producing building. Produce four and give them away. Gets me a bonus to pipe making. Uh, a bunch of parts and some people. Or uh, sell goods worth 15 amber to get 10 amber, some oil, and some people. Let's do this one. This one looks fun. I don't think I've ever had that one before. Uh, four trade routes to get amber, wildfire essence, and people. Or... Two glades and a rebuild or salvage to get bonus to stone and clay production as well as some some tools. So this one's a little bit uh, tougher of a decision because there's stone in the in one kind of tree. So every time we pick get that every time that stone procs in that tree, we get two instead of one. But that's assuming we can find a ruin to rebuild or salvage, which isn't always a guarantee. So I think I would do the trading one. Uh, deliver 40 stormwater. That won't be a problem, technically, to get a bonus of stormwater production, some po more pipes, and some villagers, or uh, keep beaver resolve above 20, and we're at 6 right now. Um, let's do this one. And we'll take that herb garden. It's fine. And then we could take, I think, maybe the kiln, although we do get coal on the ground here. Um... Bricks, pottery, and dew. Don't need the dew. Bricks and... We can't really use the pottery because so we don't have any clay. So bricks is it here, which isn't... Even though it's three star, it's not that great then. Uh, lumber mill for planks could be really good, though. Um, it's really just a matter of do we want to use the... Do we want to get the better coal or the better planks? Or we could go with flour and uh, scrolls and packs of building materials over here. I think I'll go with the kiln. It does give us the bricks, which could be good. Uh, we Kind of good that I saved it, because I could take the carpenter now, uh, which would be kind of good. Um, we could do the tool shop, which gets us better pipes to then make into even better pipes uh, later with the, uh, with the uh, order. Coats would be okay. Two out of the three of the races like coats. Um... Water skins are meh because we don't really have leather because we didn't take the ranch or we could take and then there's scrolls there too uh, or we could take the druid's hut which gets us uh, oil, incense, and coats I think I'm going to go with the carpenter for the planks yeah, I think so uh, let's take a look at you we need fabric we could do the kiln right away though uh, small glade discovered nice herbs, bugs and small abandoned cash. Alrighty. And we might as well just do that one as well. And you can keep doing this as well. As well, as well. Chop, chop. Need to put up some houses. Uh, let's get somebody to work in here. Um, do we need... We don't need the planks because we'll have plenty. Uh, we can get this done. Uh, you can make the two you got there. And then we can do some bricks. No, we don't need bricks here either. Okay. Then uh, put somebody to work in there, Wally. And that'll work. Ha! That'll work. Do that. And let's see uh, Let's see what we can uncover. In the meantime, uh, the rest of the folks can start working on houses. Uh, we need, um, need some trimming down over here. Over here. Like that. Chop, chop. We're going to need five houses. Ouch. 
Uh, we can get that kiln going. Also. And then we can get the carpenter going very, very soon. So we can just go ahead and start it. I think I'll go here with it. And then once they have the, um, the fabric done here, they can deliver that. And then we can start making the planks and stuff. Let's turn you like this. And do another one of these. Uh, we don't have lizards, but that's okay. Um, we can just do coal and bricks here to start with. Um, although, we should probably actually do the jerky right away, too. I lied. Do all the things. Uh, Harpy, you can do that. Good job. And the other small glade over here. Good, fertile soil. Bugs and a rain punk drill, which I think counts as a rebuild or salvage. I think it does, but we didn't take that one anyway, so it doesn't matter. Okay, so if we fix this, uh, which will cost us those things, um, it's a lot of friggin' pipes. Uh, we could potentially do that. We could sit on this for as long as we want, though. It'll spawn two to three coal veins nearby, which we don't really need because we have this. So maybe it's better to do the um, to disassemble this. Um, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait and think about it uh, a little while. Uh, let's do a stonecutter's camp. Put that there, and we'll also do a forger gather. Yeah, forger camp right here. Those two trees, please, or at least that one, please. Wait, actually no, not. Now well, it would be good for the road. See, like that. The road that I don't actually need, but that I like to have. Uh, let's put this down here and get them started on... Somebody started on this, maybe? Uh, hostility. RPs are happy because they brought coats with them, and I let them wear them. And then this can go here. Okay. Uh, you all have chopped all those trees. How about if you come over here and chop some of these? I'll probably open this up wider, but for right now I think it's okay. And I have them this way on purpose because I want them to focus on the trees on this side, I think. Although I could turn you as well, which would help matters. Uh, let's get a beaver working in here, which is everybody. So that's not great, but you could also potentially... Hmm. Hmm. I don't have any humans either. Farming is not the greatest. I guess I should have thought about that, too. It's okay. Uh, pull one of the woodcutter beavers out, I think. And put them in here to make wood. There you are. Good, good, good wood. This here, and then we can do just a park. Just be lazy. I'm lazy. And then we can do another house right here, and that'll be our five that we need to start with. Still have just one worker um, building. That's okay. I can go this way. This can go... Maybe I'll do one, two, three, four. And do this here. To get into that glade for the farm. Yeah, we'll do that. Seems like a good idea to me. Let's move this like that. I can build this road here. Woodcutter needs to move. That's you? Okay. Uh, let's put you here, and we'll do some of this. Uh, hostility 2 is the one with the, yeah, the dead tree thing. So we're going to pull some of these folks out. I think I'll go minus one to each one. Or two. Come on, chop these trees right here. Let's get those houses done. Get the roads done. That's good, too. And here comes the storm. We also need to get our, um... Rain collector going. Almost forgot about that. And we could probably also handle putting up a trader.
We need more planks before we can do that anyway. You're bored in here? How about... Oh, wow. Yeah, we got a lot of plant fiber to start with. That's good. Lots of bugs down here. We could probably get our uh, trapper going. Well, we didn't get together any storm water this season, but that's okay. We'll do it uh, next season or next yeah next storm. Uh, we should get should have gotten this going already too. Dang it! Uh, there, and then all the fields, of course. But we don't have the planks for it anyway. Because you haven't delivered yet. Please deliver. Oh, you would have delivered when you were done anyway. Alright, we have orders. Um, no, just in case. I don't want to disable consum cons consumption control. Uh, discovering a small glade increases the working speed of scouts. Hmm. Hostile is used by 10 points every time you sell goods. Let's do that one. And then let's do this one. Two people. <clears throat> Not beavers. Uh, let's do this one. Because we have a lot of beavers. So we're okay on beavers. I probably could have prepped a danger glade to open up already. Maybe that one because of where we are. But I didn't get ready for it. Uh, we could do it still. There, please. I could bring somebody else over here to help. Please destroy that tree. It's in my way. And then we need another house here. There you are. Alright, we could probably get somebody in here to get started on the gathering of water. No, not you. Uh, fox, please. Although, where did I put the other fox at? Stonecutter? Yeah, we're going to replace them. Put beaver in there instead. Jorg is here. Uh, planting crops is faster, maybe. Woodcutters move faster. Eh. Plant fiber production could be useful. Insects could also... No, we're not making, we're not making mushrooms here, so... Not that useful. Um, but is there anything I really want to sell? Uh, I don't think. And there's not anything that I really want to buy that badly, that I need to buy that badly. So I think we'll just keep that as a... We need to set up somebody down here making packs of provisions. With... For right now... The meat. Or you can use those eggs, I guess. Choose those eggs. Uh, you can come down here and make those. We'll get this farm going now-ish. And then uh, we could put some more of these folks back into the woodcutting job. If we had them to do so with. We kind of don't, so I'll leave it alone. Because I spent them all already. Ooh, don't do that. Oh, don't do that either. Man. Sorry. Excuse me. Everybody's housed. Everybody's happy. We have plenty of people. We could actually do this. And we could do this. And we could get ourselves a level 2 encampment already. Or town or whatever it is. Uh, turn these off. Oops. Orders. We'll have plenty of jerky with the bugs and the meat. The bugs on the ground and the meat from the trees. So we could easily do that one as long as... Who all needs jerky? Oh, just you, though. Is that... 40 times overall. Okay. But the egg production thing is weird here. Because, well, we don't get eggs here. So why would I want this? Unless we had a ranch. I... I could, I could sand this and that, but why this? It's weird. Um, I guess maybe this is targeted towards lizards in... Maybe in the marshlands more. They eat a bunch of meat, they lay a bunch of eggs. And the harpies, too. Uh, I don't know. Um, sacrificing oil and coal, though. To get a bonus to resin production. These, these suck. Um... Let's do this one. These these bonuses suck. But do I want eggs and flour, or do I want uh, longer burning rights and extra copper? No, I think I'll do this one anyway. Even though I don't care for the bonus there. 
cut through the forest to discover three dangerous or forbidden glades. No problem with that. Get some stuff or clothing need 35 times. Well, if I wouldn't have given away all my coats already, I would have been able to accomplish this right away. Bonus of fabric production is nice. Some packs and some parts would be nice as well. Hmm. Either one, assuming that I get uh, another coat recipe, would be grand. Let's do... This one. Oh, yeah, I can deliver it already. It did count. Oh, it's retro. Oh, thank you. Uh, let's turn that in right away, then. Why not? Bingo. And that gives me a building choice. Forager's Camp. This one is only one thing, right? We figured that out earlier. Yep. Trapper's Camp is only one... No, there's two. Bugs and meat on the ground. The small farm we don't need unless we want to not use the uh, one we took already, the herb garden. Um, the extra grain would be nice versus the roots, because you get more grain versus the roots, but... Mm, I think I'll do the Trapper's Camp anyway. Because, well... That's how I roll. Bugs and meat. Bugs and meat. Alright, let's put you over here to get the bugs. And... I need more workers. Uh-huh. Let's do this. We have herbs there we could pick up. Uh, trader's departing. That's fine. Let's go ahead and get this going. Uh, we have these camps we can't even use right now. Perfect. I put somebody in there? Yes, it did. Come on, come on, come on. I could pull you out of there if I wanted to have a second fox to work the glade event. Come on. <laughs> there we are. Uh, fuming machinery, medium banded cash, tinctuary, fertile soil again, times 15. Coal, broccoli, and meat. Big meat. Good thing I did that upgrade. Uh, that's the tinctuary. Which is ale, wine, and pigment. We'll keep it. Uh, and then we can do this, which, uh, if we fixed it, it would count as four aesthetic decorations. It would extract moil, moil, moisture from the soil around it and convert it into clearance water. We could do that if we had the vessels, which we don't. Or some of these things, which I would rather not spend. So we're going to tear this thing down, which means we need to have that water gained anyway, which means that you get a friend for a little while. Uh, we have how much time to do this? Just under 10 minutes, but once I put those two guys in there, it won't be very long at all. Uh, and then building material-wise, youch. All right, we're going to have to probably focus a bit more on making things and stop spending things. I need more people. Uh-huh. You can move back over here. This one can keep working there. This one can probably widen this a bit, or remove that and widen this here, because I see here's where the coal is. So it'd be good to have these trees gone. Anyway. Come here. Move you up. Maybe like that. So you can get those first. Uh, we want to use... Oh, season it did. We're going to have to use clearance water here, which is not good. Not good at all. We were too short. Dang it. Means we're going to be going into the storm working this, which is actually okay, because there's no negative storm-based effects here. That's more of an effect, although it's actually a small area, so it's not so bad. We could actually lose everything in that area, and all we'd lose would be a road. <laughs> okay. Uh 
Once we get to 30 clearance water, I will pull those guys and get them started on this, though, anyway. I think I'll put that harpy to work over here. Because I don't think I have them doing any other building. So you can go ahead and work there. We could probably go over here and take care of this meat, but I'd like to stay a little bit closer to the storage until we get a storage built out here. Uh, plus, we need to get those built up anyways. Yikes. Uh, where are we at with... You know what we should do? We should turn this on. Yeah, we need more wood. All these woodcutters, and I've only got that much wood. Uh, I can pull one of you out. I'm going to pull you out of there. Come over here and help with this. Because you didn't get all that planted anyway, so the last three nodes there can get, can get, plant, can get picked by the other one. Probably in time. Uh, did we get to 30? We did. Uh, unpause. Pull. Pull. Push. Go. They just cleaned me out of house and home on the plank front here. Deliver again, please. By the time they get those hauled, uh, hopefully we'll be okay. Unless I goofed up. Okay, we need one more. Deliver again. Uh, you guys are just going to come out of there for this season. Actually, maybe I'll delete that one. But... We can pull somebody else anyway. Because uh, we need to get down below hostility too. No, we need to pull two more. Alright. Uh, let's see... Why don't we have somebody come over here and pick some vegetables? One of those beavers that I just pulled out of there. Um, I'll put one of them back in here to plow, I think, again. Maybe, because I'm going to have to pull at least one more, two more out. Um, you all are basically done here. Basically. Let's have you all come over here and pull you out of there. Uh, and then one more we'll pull out of here. Let's go ahead and do some herb picking too. There, please. Here, please. And the storm begins. I would like to have those foxes back for this, but I'm just going to stick whoever I have in here to gather, start gathering some storm water. So that's fine. You finished that all already? Oh, wow. Okay, well then you're done then. Um, drop you there for right now. And then in that case, why don't you come and build a mine? Uh, except the mine is over here, Wally. Good job. There. As long as this got started, actually. It has not yet. Uh, I don't want you stealing the two planks for that. Hopefully, you're on your way. Oh, they gotta clear the clearance water, too. Right, I forgot about that. All right, well, that's good then. Uh, let's see. Why don't you come over here and let's just trim a few trees, maybe? Well, maybe I should have trimmed some around the storage instead. Eh, it's fine. Uh, is it fine? It's probably fine. We'll see if it's fine. All right, now get to work. You're barely gonna make it. Not really. It's an exaggeration. It's okay. I don't think I'm gonna get a danger glade done in the next year though, because I'm kind of late on this one. I want this. I did say I wanted this. Yeah. All right, let's wait on that. Let's uh, stuff some more. Beavers back in this place. Uh, let's take this. City in Runestone. Ancient Arts additions to Corruptions increase. Meh. Plus two to leather production. Meh. 
Packs of trade goods are worth 25% more when sold through trade routes or directly to traders. Can I make those with what they've picked up? Trade goods. I cannot. This is a bummer. Two. I mean, I could take that one, but I'm going to re-roll this. Could do the, the additional uh, woodcutters camp production. Uh, Royal Stormwalkers, all trade routes are faster by 40%, or gain one villager every time we discover a new glade. Do this one. Uh, let's see, papal also. Good. Uh, one of each is the way to go, because this is only two, and that's three. Let's go. Now, uh, we need to get a bunch of woodcutters back to work here. Uh, there, please, and a bunch of you. And there. Or should I stuff a bunch of beavers? I don't need to have beavers. The, the farming could be, but now I'm still down to two people, so it's not great. Uh, let's do this. For the one person who doesn't have a house. It's possible that I won't need two carpenters long term. We'll see. Oh, I never marked your trees. Sorry. Just clear a bunch of trees right in here. Uh, control, over here. Just clear a bunch. I'll probably send these folks up there to work with you too, when the time comes. Let's put this over here. I come at it from that side. I'm still gonna leave that one empty, but I'm not gonna take it down yet. Need to produce four pipes. Let's go ahead and do that one. Uh, pipes. You can use either thing. Uh, that's... Oh, uh, you need to produce... Uh, what are we at? 33? Ouch. Uh, let's go with 37. We could also spend some, I suppose. Um, but let's just put one person in here. Make those four. And then we'll come back and deal with that some, some other way in a bit. Yeah, I still don't want you in there. But, oh, I could swap you for a fox. I almost outfoxed myself there. 30 more seconds. And then I'll probably end up sticking some beavers in there. That's a good place to put the beavers during the storm when they're not chopping wood, though. Yep. This should be the one they're working on first. Priority 5. Priority 4. You get the idea. 3. And then over here. Somewhere. 2. And I'll try to move them before they get there. But that's fine. Vegetables over there, too. Yeah, we need to get those picked. Okay, you made two pipes. There's your other two. I'll uncheck this. I'll put that back down to ten. And then when you're done, you'll be done done. I can pull you back out of there. Maybe pick some herbs instead, since that's a harpy building. Trade routes. We could do that. I could send some bugs. Uh, it's not a great deal. It's not a good deal, though. Or maybe, maybe a little bit positive, but not worth it. This is better, but it's fabric. And there's no, it's not a better deal. I lied. I lied. These suck. <laughs> Old Farleth is here. Uh, crystallized dew for 10 berries produced? No. Uh, bonus to stone production? Yeah, we could if we had the money for it. Uh, advanced smelting, we could... No, we'd skip that one. Uh, workers assigned to Glade events can carry five more items. Not a bad deal either, but we don't need that one either. Um, nothing I want to sell to make 17. Make up 17, so I'm going to leave it alone. Goodbye. Some better deals. Could do this yet. Maybe we should do this yet. I think I'm just going to disassemble it, because I don't really need the extra coal veins. Um, although, I think I'll wait until these two are done with that mess. Good job, everybody. Oh, we got packs, right? We got packs of building materials from that. Are you both needed for that last haul? You are. Okay. Proceed. Orders again? Oh, we can turn this one in. Yes, let's turn that one in. And this... 
Burn 14 Blight Rot Cis. Probably not. But have a kiln and deliver 40 coal? We could do that. Let's do that. You're going to get 60 fuel for that 40, so that's worth it. And this one here. Uh, Guild House and Wine. Guild House is the one where they only get the wine sale, but also the Guild's Warfare. Deliver nine packs of provisions and complete four trade routes worth eight amber to get a bunch of coats. Did we take the coat bonus one? No, we didn't. I can't remember if the guild house is one that I like or not. I don't think it is. Encyclopedia. They added this new search feature. Uh, except we gotta be in the right tab. There we are. Uh, traders arrive 50% quicker and... Plus one to gold bar resolve for selling 75 amber. That one's not bad. This will only help... Wait, this helps the foxes too, doesn't it? It does. Okay, let's do that one. Let's do that one just because. We never do... Oh. Well, yeah, we can make reed wine. We can make reed wine if we find some reeds. Or we can buy mushrooms or berries. That would be fine. Let's try it. Let's try it. Couldn't hurt, right? Right. It's clearance, so we can take a look at a new trade here. We could sell those. That's actually a good deal. Let's sell them all. Uh, three of them. That's exactly what we have. Let's make some money. And a building choice. Smithy. Better pipe recipe. We could use that. Here's the coat recipe, though, that I didn't want. Um, skewers, biscuits, and pigment. Who all eats skewers here? Just the foxes. Oh, uh, we could do the better pipes plus the packs of trade goods that we didn't uh, get the cornerstone for. Scrolls would be good here. If we could find a building to sell the scrolls in. For both beavers and harpies. But then again, the coats also help both the beavers and harpies. We don't have a good fabric recipe, though. We could also use the tea for the harpies and the foxes. Ale helps beavers over here. Um, we don't need the pigment. We have pigment coming from the tinctuary, wherever that is. Uh, so... We don't have a flower recipe yet. Let's do the cooperage anyway. We'll do it anyway. Guess I could have put it back there. Do it there. Do it. You're bored? Good, get out of there. Uh, at least one of you. Probably both of you. Probably both of you. Uh, if nothing else, I can put you in the mines, but I think I will have you chop some trees for a while here. Right up in here. Perfect. Four of them. Uh, yep. Uh, do I have that harpy? There's a harpy. I also have a harpy in here that I don't need in here anymore. Although we will once we start making coats. So you can hop into that. And let's put another fox in here. Oops. Fox in here. Thank you, Wally. To get some more of that. And then we can do maybe some of these. Uh, kiln. Um, we should do... Makeshift post for making the packs. Do the carpenter. Could do the crude workstation too. Why the heck not? And we need to work this tinctuary too. And then we can upgrade that too. Uh, two foxes. We're going to come down here, right? Yes. Two foxes. Go. Traders leaving. Don't care. Don't care. Need to get some drizzle water using buildings here. Cooperage is a clearance water using building. Oops. There we go. And we're not making barrels right now. I don't think. Or maybe we should. Yeah, I think we should. Go ahead and make barrels. Uh, make coats. Don't make tea yet, though. And we'll put a little bit of beaver in there. They're productive. Proficient, but productive. And uh, let's do this glade next, I think. So we're kind of working our way that way anyway. Let's do uh, this, though. Just to make sure we have all that clear that we can clear. Bunch you up here. Budge you up here. Or like that, maybe. And you can go up here like this, maybe. That'll be good. Woodcutter needs to move. Which one? This one? Um, okay. You can come up here and help, too. Why the heck not? Yeah, do, that, do that side, though. That'll, that'll be good. 
That's fine. Did this finish yet? No, they're unloading it right now, though. Did I not build a house? Oh, I got extra people. All right, build a house. Trade route complete. I don't think I want to... Mm. 165 and 2? Yeah, we could we could sell a couple of stacks of that. Uh, if I did 3, I'd get to Drizzlebrook to the next level. Do I want to part with that many copper? I think I'm okay to do so, because we're getting crystallized dew from one kind of tree. If we're cutting down those trees at the moment, which I don't know if we are. But I haven't really been paying attention to which trees we're cutting. So that's okay. We can do some of these caches whenever we feel like as well. That would be a good one to get. Put the parts in there. Let's me keep the, uh, which more color I've got longer. Um, the third thing. You guys can do that next, and then we'll do this finally. Uh, chop, chop. Gonna have to work, um, or pull these guys out. Get them down. I don't think I'm gonna get down to hostility, too. But. That'll be okay. You can move over here. Just because. You can move straight up there. And you can move straight up there, and we'll extend the road a little bit more. Do I want to turn this in now? No, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. Uh, we want to definitely knock some of these woodcutters out. All three of you, gone. Uh, this is, we don't care. Um... Yeah, I don't care about this one at all, as long as everybody's happy. And I have six woodcutters, which is 144. We're at 36. I'd have to pull them all down to zero in order to get downed hostility one, below hostility two. So that doesn't make any sense. But instead, I will pull three of them out of here. Um, I will cancel these. I will let them continue to chop at this, but just maybe one of or two of them, just to clear those trees. I'm gonna load this up with wood with beavers, woodcutters, yeah, and also uh, let's make some yeah make some planks here. Uh, maybe two, two of you, and then we'll also do some uh, broccoli, uh, broccoli picking for the for the season. Um, those two foxes are unloading this right now, and then I'll put them in the tinctuary, and we'll get that going. I think that's a good way to handle this. Uh, Harpy's resolve is low, though, so we're gonna have to, actually going to have to pull this down again. But I'm going to let them chop and destroy those trees as best they can, for now. Uh, because we need to clear the trees out of the way while the harpies are unhappy. Can't favor them, that's not going to help. We could put up some housing, that would help. Uh, Harpy-specific housing, that is. I need to put somebody to work in here, though, if we did that. We don't have any fabric left. Alright, you can go in there. That's fine. Boxes. Oh, the harpies are happy again. Okay, chop that last tree, then. That's fine. Trade route complete. Oh, we could take a look at these ones. I could definitely part with a bunch of meat. That's actually an okay deal. Uh, herbs as well. I could part with a few of those. Um, but that's not, a, that's not a good deal. Uh, bricks. That's an okay deal. But bricks aren't that cheap, and I'd only be able to do a couple of those. Sea uh, marrow. I don't think I want to part with it, even though it actually is a good deal. So let's go back up to the top here to the meat. Let's, uh, Beverton... When we do all five. It's all my meat, but we're going to get more. It's fine. I'll get them to level one. We got this done anyway, so we're good. Uh, wait a minute. No. I turned those off. Uh, pull you two out. And uh, that's fine. For a moment. All right, let's put everybody back now, though. You two go in there. Uh, you, you, come on out. I'll let them finish. You two go in there. We're going to knock down these trees right here. There's like three trees in that area. 
And you are filled with stuff, so I need to get somebody back in there. Um, I'll let you finish your unload job. And I'll probably pull you out of there. Uh, let's take a look at this first. Survivor bonding. Plus 10% villager speed, plus one res global resolve. Not a problem. Mushrooms hit two stars. We should take that one. But we could also take the barrels for planks production, too, and then not actually make barrels. Um, the advantage of the mushrooms is I can plant them instead of roots and I get a two-star thing that can be used for flour. Uh, the advantage to the barrels is, well, we don't have to spend two planks and a bar to make ten barrels. Which one is better? Which one is worse? We've been playing for 55 minutes. You guys can tell me which one I should do. Uh, or you can include that one too if you if you like it. Uh, we'll pop into this glade in the next uh, in the next couple of minutes, and we'll also let's see. You can pull one of you out of here, and we'll figure out what else we're gonna try to accomplish uh, after the storm in this next couple of years. We'll turn that in too, and we'll take this building choice. Don't need that. We got one. Uh, smokehouse could be good. Scribe we talked about earlier would be kind of pretty good. Leather worker would get us a better fabric recipe. So let me know your thoughts on a building choice as well. And uh, we'll come back in the next episode and uh, see what else we can accomplish. I shouldn't have spent the stormwater. Moron. All right, we'll figure that. We'll fix that in the next year as well. Uh, we're going to keep those two guys in there and we'll just turn off all these, uh, all these things when the storm comes. Um, Alrighty, so thank you all for joining me. And I will see you all next time. Bye for now.